Welcome to Quasi Amusement Park in Middlebury, Connecticut. What you're looking at here is their famous wooden warrior, wooden roller coaster. Um, a phenomenal achievement for a small family park like this. It's a great ride. It was built in 2010 and really put the park on the map. Um, the park was built really in the 1930s is when it started building up to its current shape. Um, but it dates all the way back to the 1700s. Um, all built around Lake Quasipog, which you can see in the distance. So let's take a walk through the park. We're going to walk in a counterclockwise direction. The park is a sort of box shape. So we'll begin over in the parking lot here. You can see the ticket booth for the parking area and then on the left is the actual ticket booth for the park itself. Um, on the right are some of their rides. You can see the Tilt-A-Whirl going, the giant slide way on the right, and then the Music Fest which is in front of us. Also in the distance you can see that massive water slide. They have a whole water park called Splashaway Bay and it's been growing pretty uh, impressively over the past several years. They keep expanding it uh, right on the beach of the lake. And you can see over there are the bumper cars. For many years, the park was primarily a kiddie park, but over the past several years, it's been uh, expanding to include a lot more rides for a wider audience. Um, so there are not only family rides, but there are now quite a few thrill rides, um, in addition to a lot of kiddie rides. And you can see there in the distance, uh, Free Fallen, the park's drop tower. There's a water gun game. And over on the right is the yo-yo, swing ride. And there's a parrot trooper on the right. In the distance, you can see the pirate ship. As you can see, the park's pretty compact. It's not spread out much at all. Everything's pretty much contained in a single area, which is really great for kids. They don't get exhausted running all over the place trying to find stuff. Everything is within easy reach. And that's the entrance to Splash Away Bay. There's also a kitty spray area there. And that's the bathhouse. And here's a Quasi Zoo, which is a, a cute little area, a play area for kids. You can get inside the kangaroo's pouch, you can get inside the coils of the cobra there. And right here on the edge of the lake, are some more kiddie rides, nicely positioned. Many of these rides are vintage Mangles and Herschel rides from the 1950s. And over here is a set of uh, picnic tables for outings. And out on the lake you can see a paddle boat. And around the corner here is the dock for the paddle boats. So you can rent paddle boats for a half hour or an hour. On the left is Quasi's restaurant, which has a nice patio. And some pretty good food too. They, they serve veggie burgers there, which is good in my book. Hi, Karen. And in front of us is the back of the Quasi Arcade. A very large building that has lots of arcade machines in it, as you'd expect. Ski ball and a whack a mole. In front of us there is the ice cream shop. They also have fried dough there. And there's the Quasi Queen, which is a little pontoon boat that goes out on the lake. That's free. 
And Kwasi has a lot of these scattered around, these little picture spots where kids can stick their head into little cartoon pictures. There's the Little Dipper roller coaster. And it's hard to see, but inside you can see a boat ride and there's also a jet ride inside the structure of the kitty coaster. There's the entrance to the arcade, or at least one of the entrances. If we look in there, you can see there's another entrance on the other side. There's also a laser tag arena inside there. And there's another picnic pavilion, the trolley stop. Kitty bumper ride. As you can see, Quasi keeps a lot of their rides spread out all over, so there's always something to do in any area of the park. Here's a row of snack booths and games. Way in the distance, you can see the Quasi Fieldside Pavilion, which is a really big picnic pavilion, and next to that is a huge field. Um, where you can play shuffleboard or horseshoes and you can see the train that makes a big circle around that picnic field. And there's the turnaround of the wooden warrior. And here is Frantic, which is a high-speed thrill ride guaranteed to upset your lunch. And right next to it is a much milder ride the park's carousel. And these are park offices here on the left. Park mascot. Over on the right, you can see the carousel theater. And they have uh, fun entertainment for the kids, magic shows, comedy acts. And beyond that is the big flush, a water slide. And there's the pirate ship again and the main entrance to the arcade, plus the gift shop. And there's a teacup ride and the tray band. Again, lots of rides scattered throughout. There's the big flush. And right next to the big flush is the entrance to the popular Wooden Warrior. It's a terrific ride that packs a lot of punch in a very small area. And to the left is an ice cream booth, and you can get pretzels there as well. And there's a whimsical sign that directs you to different places in the park. And that takes us back to the parking lot. So yes, it's not a mega themer like a Six Flags, but that's not the point. This is a great destination for families, and as you can see over on the left there, the parking sign said that they have a $40 car load day, so as many people as you can fit in your car, it's 40 bucks for everyone, and very hard to find deals like that these days. With the lake as a beautiful scenic backdrop. This small, charming park is a great place for families. It's big enough so the kids will have a great time, but small enough so the parents don't have to worry about losing them. And if you're a roller coaster enthusiast, you'll definitely enjoy Wooden Warrior.